You're listening to the Outer Banks This Week podcast, a place for people to hear what's going on up and down the beach and to get the truth about what really goes on around the Outer Banks. So, are you ready? Here we go. All right. Thank you so much, Wes. Outer Banks This Week podcast, episode number 77, all brought to you by Kelly's Automotive in Manio. I saw Kelly just a few moments ago. I was chit chatting with his wife about a few things, and he popped in the door and Man, I'll tell you what, Kelly is, he's first class. He's a very personable individual. He's, he's very kind and polite. He's just a super nice dude. I enjoy talking to him anytime I get a chance to see him. Very community oriented, very involved with athletics, especially high school and middle school athletics here on Roanoke Island in Maniel. I can't say enough great things about him. All I'm going to tell you is go check out his lot for any car, truck, SUV, or even a shed that you may be in the market for. Check him out online at Kelly's OBX Auto. Dot com. All right. Hey, we are solidly into the month of August. Here it is. We'll say this is mid-August now. The 41st annual Pirates Cove Big Game Tournament has been taking place this week. I've been hanging out with Captain Marty. I hope you've been listening to our up to, we'll, we'll call them real-time podcast recordings on his channel. I hope you've been listening and, and getting up to speed with everything going on out there. But yeah, here it is. I mean, they call these the dog days of August, but it's not really been on a knock on wood real quick. It really hasn't been too bad weather wise as far as the temperature is concerned. It, the day that I'm recording this podcast today being the 13th of August, it's it's been rather pleasant. And there's a northeast breeze today. This week's been very nice. So, again, really decent weather so far. Now, I probably just jinxed this, but it's. It's been nice. It's been very nice. Um, Debbie really didn't do much of anything around here. Got some, you know, some surf, some high wind. Not, not even really, I won't even really say high winds. I know down in Hatters it was breezier than up here, up here in Manio. But honestly, no real major effects were felt, in my opinion, other than uh, maybe a little ocean overwash down on Hatters Island, if any. Uh, high surf, dangerous rip current risk. That's about the extent of it, in my opinion. The, the middle part of the state that honestly needed rain more than anywhere, yet yeah, they got the well, what we'll say the worst of it. But again, they needed rain. I mean, we were getting rain for a while there every other day, if not every day, for a few days consecutively. But uh, they've they've uh, they needed that rain. So all that being said, Debbie really didn't do much except create some rough surf and uh, some choppy waves in the sound. It's about the extent of it. However, I, I will say that um, there's been like a like a summertime cold. I don't know if COVID's starting to make its rounds again or some sort of summertime cold that's been taking place, but my boss man, Phil, that I took with me to the podcast recording at Buffalo City Distillery, I haven't seen him since that day. I've not seen him. It's been almost two weeks since I did that recording. He's been sick ever since. I've been blessed to not be sick. My kid, my oldest son, Austin, had some really gnarly sinus drainage going on the other day. My wife was sick. I'm not sick, though. Maybe it's just like allergies combined with a cold, or maybe, like I said, COVID might be making another round through this part of the world. I'm not sure. But if some sort of summertime cold has really been knocking things down. My boss lady, my, my sales manager, Hannah, she's been sick. I'm knocking on wood again that I don't get sick. So I don't know the summertime cold. If you've gotten it, you know what I'm talking about. It's been pretty intense for a lot of people, but I'm praying that it doesn't make its way towards me. Well, here in episode number 77 of the podcast, um, we're going to be talking with my brother-in-law. His name is Mike McLean. He's from Master Heating and Cooling. He's going to be telling us about the Feel the Love campaign that's taking place with Linux Air Systems. I'm going to bring him on, and this is an opportunity to learn more about his business, his world, and how you can nominate somebody in need of a new HVAC system or some HVAC replacement somewhere or whatnot. Uh, this is an opportunity for you to learn more about that. So we're going to talk to him in just a little bit. I was trying to think about news. The only news that I can really think of right now is just staying up to speed with everything at the Pirates Cove Big Game Tournament. Uh, you can go to PCBGT, PCBGT.com to get all the up-to-the-minute reports on who's catching what, all the leaderboards and everything like that. And, of course, you can be listening to Cap Marty's channel because Cap Marty and I are out there every day this week doing real-time recordings and podcasts for the tournament itself on his channel. So that's about the only news that I can really think of going on. I feel like there might be something I'm missing. And if there is something I'm missing, man, you can always go find 
all the local news here on the Outer Banks at samwalkerobxnews.com. Sam Walker, if there's a question about the news or any questionable news, Sam Walker is the answer. Samwalkerobxnews.com. Com is where you can find that. I do want to thank Mr. Buddy Byram and his crew, Miss Kelly and those folks out, out at Buffalo City Distillery in Point Harbor, North Carolina, which is in Currituck County. I appreciate them allowing us to come out there and, and hang out and uh, let Phil and, and Barbecue Mike sample some of the whiskeys and the vodkas. I'm not much of a drinker, so that's why I had to take them with me. Uh, plus, I was driving. I was like, look, guys, y'all can drink. I'll drive. And I mean, that's a win. It sounds like, I mean, a winner to those that like to drink and they got a driver, they're in great shape. So um, I'm really thankful. Really cool place that they got there. If you get an opportunity, it's right there on Highway 158. What do you say? Mile post minus 4.5, something like that. Just across the bridge in Curry Tug. You don't have to go far into Curry Tug to get there at all. Just go across the bridge, shoot up a couple of miles. It's right there. If you're heading north, it's on your right. If you're heading south, it's on your left. If you're heading south, it's on your left. Just past the water park. Just past the water park. Not far past it at all. So keep all that in mind. All right. Uh, yeah, I appreciate them for allowing us to do that. And again, that is a great place. You need to go out there and check it out. Captain Marty. Yes, please. Listen to the Captain Marty Fishing Reports. He's getting you up to speed with all the fish that are being caught in the surf, offshore, near shore, in the sounds, off the piers, in the back country. Captain Marty has all the answers for all the fishing questions that you may have. Listen to his podcast. He's got his own channel on all your major podcast platforms. He's got his own specific piece of the Outer Banks This Week website. So please make sure you're tuned in for anything you need to know on the fishing front. The fishing guides are out. They're at all the different tackle shops, all the piers, everywhere that fishing can be had. A Captain Marty fishing guide can be found, okay? And again... We appreciate all the love and support we've gotten for Captain Marty here at Outer Banks this week. He's a fantastic human. Uh, love working with him again. So, yeah, make sure you're tuning into his fishing reports. They're posted daily, Monday through Friday. Um, and just stay right here with all the fishing news that Captain Marty has. We'll, we'll get it to you as soon as we get it from him. <laughs> We're going to take a quick break. We're going to jump into some shout outs here in just a few moments. But a word from our sponsors uh, from H2OBX and High Seas Pools and Spas. High Seas Pools and Spas, dirty water sucks. At High Seas Pools and Spas, we believe dirty water sucks. We are a licensed and insured certified pool and spa maintenance and repair company servicing Ductomania. We offer seasonal and year-round pool and spa services with a special focus on flex rentals like Airbnb and VRBO. Need a new hot tub? We can do that too. Visit us online at HighSeasOBX.com for more information. High Seas Pools and Spas, because dirty water sucks. H2OBX in Powell's Point, the Outer Banks' number one family attraction. Whether it's a thrilling adventure you seek, a relaxing drift down the lazy river, or just a place to splash around on a hot summer day, H2OBX has something for all ages. Looking to enjoy the park in style? The cabanas make a great addition for family and friends to gather for that resort feeling. Don't forget about the great eats like barbecue, tacos, burgers, and acai bowls. And the tasty drinks like smoothies, frozen coffees, and an assortment of adult beverages. To see a map of the park or to secure your splashing good time, go online to h2obxwaterpark.com. H2obx and Powell's Point, Outer Banks family fun at its finest. Uh, that sweet little voice you heard on the H2obx commercial just then, that was my son Austin. He was tickled to death to be able to do that. He, it's one day, he was just real quick. He was in the office with me and he was kind of trying to find things to do. He had to come to work with dad that day. And I put the script in front of him. I stuck the mic in front of him. I cut it on and I said, read this. And he read it and it sounded pretty good. So that's how he got the job and they liked it at H2OBX. So that uh, I'm very proud of that one. It's kind of a proud dad moment for me. I uh, got shout outs. Um, and again, if you're a listener to the podcast, let me know. Podcast at OuterBanksThisWeek.com. I'd love to shout you out. First, I want to shout out to the Fender Bender, Citation, and Sally Girl at the Alice Kelly Tournament. They came in first, second, and third place of the Alice Kelly Memorial Tournament, ladies only tournament. So I wanted to shout out to the ladies that fished on the Fender Bender, the Citation, and the Sally Girl. Congratulations, ladies. Great job and tight lines. I'll tell you, that I had to say I had to say that. Every Facebook post I feel like I see that involves the Alice, it's like, tight lines, ladies, tight lines, ladies. So 
Way to have tight lines that day, ladies. <laughs> I also want to shout out to, uh, I think her name is, I think it's a female, Pat Curtin. Uh, they bought a place in Mania this past fall. They're listeners of the podcast, and they said that we've done a very good job of keeping them informed with all things Outer Banks. Thank you so much, Pat, for being a listener of the podcast. I wanted to give you a shout out for that. I noticed your comment on the group page the other day. And I just felt like it was warranted. It was worthy of a shout out. So, Pat, thank you for being a listener to the podcast. And if you got any, anything you need from us, you just let me know. Podcast at outerbanksthisweek.com. And if you haven't joined our group on Facebook, just search Outer Banks This Week Podcast and find the group and jump right in and join in on the fun. We would love to have you. And I love interacting with my listeners. It's one of my favorite things about doing this podcast is being able to interact. My guy, Adam. That's my dude. He'll text me. Sometimes I don't get a chance to text him back, but like he, he, he will let me know what's going on. And I know he listens. So shout out to Adam real quick too. <laughs> I appreciate you, dude. And uh, my dad's birthday is coming up this coming Sunday, August 18th. Also is Virginia Dare's birthday. It will be Virginia Dare's. Oh gosh. How old is Virginia Dare going to be? 437 years old. That's how old Virginia Dare will be on Sunday as well. They share a birthday, August 18th. My dad will be 71. So I want to say happy birthday to my dad. We're actually going to take him out uh, to Blue Water at Pirates Cove Marina on Saturday night for dinner. So if you're there for dinner that night, stop by and say, hey, tell my dad happy birthday. He'll be 71. Happy birthday, dad. Love you very much. Thank you for everything you do for us and the boys. We really appreciate it. Love you. Happy birthday. All right, we're going to take a quick break here in just a few moments. We're going to talk to my brother-in-law, Mike Mike. You're going to hear me call him that from Master Heating and Cooling. Oh, gosh, but first, you know what time it is. You know what time it is. We got to check in with our boy, Matt E.P. What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Matt E.P., back with another edition of OBX after dark brought to you by outer banks this week let me tell y'all where i was at this weekend man i went up to Kerala. shoot man it was a hike i went up north went and saw some buddies who were in town and guess where we went man we went to uncle ike's baby uncle ike's is a cool little spot down there or up there should i say in Kerala. and uh if you're looking for something to do, Uncle Ike's is, is pretty much the place to go. That or Sun Dogs. And honestly, man, Uncle Ike's was dope, man. We had a good time singing a little bit of karaoke. You know, your boy sang a little nickelback, a little throwback. You know how it goes when I get up there and start singing karaoke, man. But look, if you're up in Kerala and you're bored and you want something to do during the nighttime, Uncle Ike's is the place to go, man. Look, stop in, have a few brewskis. Tell them you know Matty P and they say what's up, man. Look, that's it for this week. Stay tuned because next week is a very special edition of OBX After Dark. It's your boy, Matty P's birthday, baby. And you know what time it is. It's time to get a little rowdy. Turning 29 next week, man. Couldn't be happier with how the way life is going right now. Look, holla at your boy, Matty P. Next week, it's his birthday. Oh, wait, I almost forgot. The BPL at Uncle Ike's, man. Look. Uncle Ike's is different. So look, the BPL at Uncle Ike's, man, it was a, it was a 7.9, man. That's not a bad score. 7.9 at Uncle Ike's. That was the BPL. Again, stay tuned for next week. Matty P's birthday. It's gonna be crazy. Uh, holla at you later. That's been another edition of OBX After Dark. Scrambling around at different stores, in and out of the car multiple times to make sure you have everything you need for the beach, that can be such a hassle. But not with the Breeze Through in Avon. Breeze Through is your one stop for gas, beer, drinks, ice, sandwiches, snacks, coffee, sunscreen, and the best part, you don't even have to get out of your vehicle. That's right, just sit tight. Breeze Through will bring everything you need right to your car. Looking for a keg for a special event or gathering? Breeze Through is the only store on Hatteras Island who sells them. Breeze Through Avon. Milepost 55 and online at breezethroughobx.com. What could possibly be more fun than watching a bottlenose dolphin swim and play in the water right beside you? Hop aboard Harbor Star Dolphin Tours at Juan Chis Marina and witness this remarkable animal up close. The Harbor Star is a spacious 50-foot vessel with a wide shady canopy that runs two-hour trips multiple times a day, including a breathtaking sunset cruise. To book your tour, go online to juanchismarina.com and click Harbor Star Dolphin Tours. See the majestic bottlenose dolphin up close with Harbor Star Dolphin Tours. All right, as promised, and I feel like I always lead into these segments by saying the, the, those words, as promised, uh, I have 
Mr. Michael McLean sitting across from me from Master Heating and Cooling. Now, this is a little special for me because I, you're going to hear me call him Mike Mike because he's my brother-in-law and my kids call him Mike Mike. So uh, he's sitting here. He, he's got this really cool thing that's going on that Linux has put on the Linux Foundation. It's called Feel the Love. Uh, and I'm going to have him explain all that to us here in just a few moments. But Mike, Mike, how are you today, man? I'm good, Justin. Glad to be here. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. I mean, what, you, what you're doing when you reached out and you were kind of talking to me about some of this stuff, and uh, I was like, man, this is definitely something that needs to go on the show because it's it's just showing you know how Outer Banks This Week gives back, but also how Master Heating and Cooling gives back and how Linux wants to give back to someone that could potentially need a new AC unit or whatnot. So I felt like this this is an excellent opportunity to, to for us to reach the community in a way that we can. You know, we have that opportunity to do it. So talk to me. Let's start uh, now. Mike, Mike, you've worked for how long have you worked now for Master Heating and Cooling? Uh, right at six years. Six years. OK. And I talked to us a little bit about, you know, Master Heating and Cooling as a company. What's up in Kitty Hawk, right? It is. Yes, sir. OK. Off of, off of Lillian Street in Kitty Hawk. OK. Now, what what kind of stuff do you all do at Master Heating and Cooling? Let's talk about that. Yeah, well, we, we're a HVAC company here on the Outer Banks for 36 years. Oh, wow. OK. Been here, been here a long time, um, serving the community, uh, installing quality equipment, top-notch service from our guys in the field, um, you know, anywhere from installs to um, warranty services. We, we focus a lot on preventative maintenance in our, in our community. It's a very harsh environment for that type of equipment, and we really pay a lot of attention to making sure that your equipment has the best of um, choices to reaching its warranty potential. Let's just put it that way. Yeah, I mean, that salt air is definitely, uh, it's not easy on on equipment around here. You know, you look at a lot of, everybody's like, why is it everything's so rusty around here? Well, you know, your ocean front salt air tends to have that effect on metal pieces and parts. So yeah, yeah, you definitely, you're, you know, the preventative maintenance and things of that nature that you do is yeah. definitely first class for sure. So I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. Oh no, you're fine. <laughs> Thank you. I mean, we, we provide duct cleaning service and along with that indoor air quality. Uh, going back to the, the salt situation that you just spoke of, um, we do a salt removal program where we come and visit your home and spray your units off monthly. So that's a oh, that's pretty rad a quality product that we do there too. And even to storm preparedness, if if there's something you want us to pay attention to before and after a storm, we we can we can help with that um, for sure. Okay, cool. Now you do residential. You do you work with any real estate companies? We do, we do uh, residential and commercial, but um, you know we have a couple real estate groups that deal with us uh, primarily and then uh, we, we take calls from all kinds because our our, um, our clientele is is wide and we've been here a long time so we've got many different real estate groups that we deal with when it comes to um, servicing your equipment very nice very nice and you cover the entire outer banks yes absolutely Cool deal. Cool yep. deal. Based out of Kitty Hawk, covering the Outer Banks, 36 years of experience. Mr. Tony, if you, if we get a chance to get Mr. Tony on the mic again <laughs> at some point, because we've, we've done some work together in the past. Uh, he's a hoot now. He's a, he's a piece of work. So uh, he's kind of the what he's one of the uh, the owners of he and Susan of uh, Master Heating and Cooling. Yeah. So uh, definitely some fun people. Definitely a family uh, friendly oriented business. You know, it's a family business type thing going on there. And uh, definitely some great people for sure. Um, so what, what exactly is it that you do at master heating and cooling? You know, you got a, you got a polo shirt on in here today. Look like you, you, you have some level of importance about you. Well, let's, let's just say uh, whatever needs to be done gets okay. done. If, if, if it's asked of me, I get it done, but, um, wear several different types of hats. We are, um, home Depot service providers. Oh, that's good. So anyone that uh, wanders into the home Depot or is online that needs service, um, that comes directly to my desk and I handle that from start to finish. We get our di guys dispatched out and uh, take care of what, what you need and what, what you want there. So I do a lot of work with that. Okay. Um, so I handle those interactions again from walking the store, getting customers that are in there that have questions uh, along to, um, product knowledge with the associates there and product, uh, you know, associate engagement in the stores, that right. kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And then, um, like I said, I, I deal with the website uh, inquiries that come in through that, and any of the customer service calls that come in from from their from their end. Okay. Um, I I manage our website, um, media engagement, like situations like this, right? Um, along with uh, our marketing budget, 
we we co-op with Lennox, um, and we we have a marketing program that we we um, that I help manage that. Cool. Um, I sign off on permits, um, and um, I volunteer in the community as well with other things. And I just want to say uh, thank you to Susan and Tony at Master Heating and Cooling because they allow me a lot of time to do the things that that I do in the community, and we represent Master Heating and Cooling when we do that. Of course, I'm affiliated with First Flight High School Athletic Boosters. Okay. okay. So um, whenever there's something that needs to be done with that, um, I'm able to, to to go and get that get that done and help the help the kids in the the school system. Very so. nice. That, that's that's definitely. If you, I mean, I know you're affiliated with a lot of different companies, a lot of different pieces of the community with Master uh, Heating and Cooling, but being affiliated with the boosters and anything involving the kids is, I think is amazing. So that's good stuff. Good stuff. And that's true because I've been to a, a good handful of functions that involve first flight athletics. And, uh, there's Mike, Mike with his first flight gear on, you know, getting <laughs> helping and doing whatever he can do. So that's definitely, yeah. definitely true. I can attest to that for sure. Yeah. I handle all the outdoor concessions for the, for the sports teams there at, at the high school. So I got good food there too. Oh look, yeah. Look forward to enjoying <laughs> maybe a few, a uh, few games there this, uh, this fall and this winter coming up. Got to come get some funnel fries. Yes. The funnel fries. <laughs> My gosh. Yes. Just first of all, wait a minute. Now does Mania play at first flight this year? Yeah, they do. Oh no. Excuse me. You're coming to Mania. Football, we're coming to Mania this year. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. I guess I have to settle for Mania concessions. Yeah. <laughs> there, no, there, there, won't, there won't be any dolphin on the menu. or, or uh, no, no. We'll be taking the fish back home this take, year. So. Oh, you're going to take the fish back home. Okay. <laughs> we'll talk about that. That's a, that, that's a conversation for another time. <laughs> anyway. Uh, so, you know, of, of course, you know, we've, we've heard about master heating and cooling, reputable business, 36 years, family-owned business, you know, of course – been doing work around here for a long, long time, but now you've got this, uh, this feel the love, which I got to say, I think it's really cool that the website, it's not like feel the love Linux.com or anything like that. It's feel the love.com. I was just like, wow, that, yeah. that URL was not taken from anybody else, but it's for this. But anyway, I'm sorry. That was just a side note. Feel the love lit the Linux foundation. Let's t- tell me about that. What's going on with this? So again, we're we're very engaged in the community, and and Linux is as well. So, um, in two thousand and nine, they formulated the um, Feel the Love program, okay. and since then, they've installed twenty three hundred pieces of equipment for customers all over the nation. Oh wow! And that is, um, they donate the equipment, and then the the dealers in respective areas donate their time and the materials to get that equipment put in. So deserving um, folks in the community. People that have been served by this, nominees include educators, veterans, of course, first responders, healthcare professionals, uh, families facing financial challenges, elderly residents in outdated homes, and individuals impacted by natural disasters, which is you know close to all of us here, hopefully. That's not something we ever have to really deal with, but right. it does happen. So. It, it does. Yeah, like you were saying around here, it's... Uh, Ooh, it seems like it happens more often than it should, but you know, it's just it's where we live, I guess. So I'm looking. Um, how so? How does this process? Let's let's start there. How does the process work? So we looking to nominate some people. Is that right? right? Absolutely. How do we do this? So if you know someone, again, an educator, uh, a, a hero in our community, someone who works for the community, anyone who you feel like needs help, um, go to feelthelove.com. Okay, and there is. Um, where there's a form there that you'll nominate that person. You want to make sure that that person is notified that you're doing this because we are giving some information away about the person and where they live and all that. Right. But um, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna take those inquiries in, and then we we choose a, a nominee based on their um, you know their need their need. Of course, that comes to again my desk at work, so I I, I um you know you, you, read through those right all those scenarios. And then as a company, we make a decision on who we feel would need the most help. Kind of lay them out there and y'all kind oh, yeah. of go through them and with a fine tooth comb and, and look at them all to collectively to see where, where we need to channel this energy. Absolutely. I got it. So I'm looking at the website, feel the love.com and right at the very top, it says nominate someone. So you can click on that. I just kind of want to, you know, what makes a good nominee? And it's like everything you just mentioned, you know, anybody that's been impacted by natural disaster, falling on hard times, a hero, of the community, that type of thing. So if I'm going to submit a nomination, it's a very, very person making the nomination. So once your information, the individual being nominated, 
Um, and there's some, you know, some basic questions, you know, that you would need to fill out. Does a nominee slash family own the home that they're in? Different things that are very, very important to making the decision and everything in the process. Now, I'm not going to continue to click through everything, but you can take it from here and see that it's not a hard process. I mean, it's pretty, you know, kind of fill in the blank. You know, of course, I'm sure that probably at some page you're going to need to write a little paragraph about the individual. Absolutely. So just kind of tell their story and, and, and you know, how, how you feel uh, that this person needs the assistance and, and whatever we can do to help them, we'll, we'll do that. Absolutely. Now, let me ask you this. How, how much time do we have to get somebody nominated? Uh, the nomination um, site will be open until August 31st for this year's install. Okay. So this year's install will happen uh, the week of October the um, 5th through the 12th. Right. Okay. So we have time in September to kind of go out and, and view the property and figure out what the scope of the work would be and how we can best help. And then um, Lennox, we submit that equipment request to Lennox. They get that processed and sent back to us. And then we, of course, acquire all the materials to get the job done and get the um, permits and everything to get signed off and get it done the right way, like the way it should be. That's, this is a super cool thing that you guys are doing. And, uh, you know, the fact that a master is kind of spearheading it in this area and, and being the, at the forefront of it all to assist somebody that may be in need or, you know, things of that nature, whatnot, uh, that is super cool. So I, I was thinking about it because, uh, a company that I, I work with also a Gallup roofing in Wanchies just gave a roof away to somebody, yeah, you know, great. some in, in, in the same manner in which you're talking about, you know, mm -hmm. they, they partnered up with a, another, with one of their vendors or what, or whatever. And, did a roof for somebody and had submissions sent in to them. So definitely a really cool thing that y'all are doing. So if you got a roof, you could probably get you a HVAC system too. <laughs> uh, so what else do we you go to feel the love.com tell the story and you've got until August the 31st to do so. And we're looking right. for people here locally in Dare County and the Outer Banks that may be in need. So if you listen to the podcast or you know someone that is in need, uh, please go online to feelthelove.com and nominate them. And, of course, your nomination will get on Mike Mike's desk and Mike Mike will go through and, and look over every nomination and have his team look through them all and then they'll make a decision from there. Right. Do we leave anything out? No, I don't think so. I mean, this we we have always done work in the community, and this year is the first that we've uh, affiliated with the Feel the Love program, and we're really really proud to be doing that. And we thank Lennox for providing this service that we can provide to our community and uh, help us represent our company, but but really help other people. I feel like in life, the best thing that you can do is serve others. Amen. And Amen. if Preach. if we all did and tried to do that a little more, <laughs> there would be a lot of a lot of really good happening all around. And there's a lot of good that happens. Yes, I'm not saying is. that. But what I'm saying is we could all probably do a little something extra to help Amen. somebody out. So Absolutely right. I cannot disagree with anything you just said there. Very good. Well, Mike, Mike, I appreciate you coming in and, and talking with me for a little while about the feel of the love uh, for the Linux Foundation to give gift a HVAC system to someone in need. It's definitely a cool thing y'all are doing at Master. And if you are looking to get any work done, I mean, let's just say it like this. If you need any work done, you're looking for a new system, you are got just maintenance, things of that nature that need to be done, Master, what, what's y'all's website? It's masterhvac.net. Okay. So come visit us there. You can get on our webpage and um, contact us that way or you know, call us at our office at 252 Two five five zero zero nine five. We'd love to hear from you, and we'd love to help you with whatever we can help you with. Absolutely. You want to give a shout out to anyone, Mike? Mike? Anybody you want to shout out to? Uh, share. No. Yeah, share. She's <laughs> that's my lady. She's uh, she's, <laughs> she keeps me straight. There you go. <laughs> you yes. know, you know, you know that. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Well, Mike, Mike, again, I really appreciate it. MasterHVAC.net for more information on Master Heating and Cooling. And you can go online to feelthelove.com to make your nominations. Dude, I appreciate you coming in. Yes, Thank sir. you so much. And I, I love what y'all are doing. All right. Thank you, Justin. Very You're much. welcome. Boasting phenomenal seafood dishes, a great menu, and waterfront views with deck seating, Striper's Bar and Grill at the Shallowback Bay Marina in Manio serves a casual, fun-filled dining experience with an Outer Banks flair. With three floors to choose from, you're bound to find the perfect seat for you and yours while enjoying great food and fantastic drinks. To see our menu and to catch a glimpse of the beautiful views, go online to stripersbarandgrill.com. Stripers Bar and Grill at the Shallowback Bay Marina in Manio, where everyone's a VIP. 
comes to finding phenomenal seafood, you gotta go insane. That's right. Stop in to the Insane Seafood Market right there on Highway 64 in Columbia. Luke Midget and his crew work hard out on the water to make sure you have the freshest selection of seafood around. They provide a wide selection of fish, crabs, shrimp, oysters, and clams, just to name a few. Insane Seafood has a hot bar to satisfy that seafood craving right on the spot. Visit them online at InsaneSeafood.com and like them on social media. Go insane at Insane Seafood Market Highway 64 in Columbia. Oh, yes, you got to go insane. It's InsaneSeafood.com. That's N-S-E-I-N-E Seafood.com. Luke Midget. I'll tell you what, man, he's a piece of work. I've been knowing Luke for a long time. And Insane Seafood, they got super fresh, super yummy seafood. You can get it in their Columbia location or in Stumpy Point on Highway 264. So keep that in mind. Insane Seafood in S E I N E seafood.com. All right, we're going to jump into these events and the events as always can be found online at outerbankthisweek.com. You click on the events tab and they are right there ready to be viewed with all the details that you could possibly want to know about each one of them. Ah, the music OBX concert spotlight. I heard that 311 did a bang up job this past week. Uh, my buddy Wes, that actually does the intro and the outro for the podcast, he's our videographer. He was out at the show and he said Peanut ripped it up, man. He said they gave him like a solo and he did phenomenal. So glad that that was a great time. It was a little wet. I think they all got rained on, but you know what? The wetter the better is what they say, ain't it? Mm. Anyway. Music of Biggest Concert Spotlight, we got Sublime with Rome. It's their farewell tour. It's coming up on Thursday, August 29th. Gate's going to open at 5. Show's going to start at 6. It's a rain or shine event, and tickets are $45 a piece. $45 to get you into the uh, farewell tour for Sublime with Rome. Again, that's Thursday, August 29th. Gate's going to open at 5, and the show is going to start at 6. Looking a little further down the road, and it very well could be the last show of the season, Got Jamie Johnson, country music artist Jamie Johnson, coming up on Saturday, September 7th. I will be in attendance for that one. I am working to try to get an interview with Jamie Johnson right now, see how it goes, see if I can get one. It'd be really cool. But regardless if I do or if I don't, that's going to be a fun show, and I plan on being out there. So be looking for me out there, and we'll talk more about that as the time gets closer. But that Jamie Johnson show is Saturday, September 7th. Don't waste time getting tickets. You can get any of these tickets online at musicobx.com. All right. Again, the Lost Colony, outdoor drama is going on. It's the 86th season. I'm going to talk more about that and how you can get your tickets for the upcoming show that they're going to be doing with the Virginia Dare Baby. Yeah, you can go online to thelostcolony.org for more details. Trivia nights, live music, karaoke all across the board at places like Buffalo City Distillery, Sand Trap Tavern, Stripers, Lost Colony Waterfront Beer Garden, all of these can and more can be found online at outerbankthisweek.com. Jazz Nights at Owens, that's taking place. Mug Night at the Jolly Rogers in Kill Over Hills every Thursday night with DJ Styles and Maddie P. Yeah, that's going on. Brunch at Cafe Pamela Co. every day, and they're doing the uncorked wine tastings on Mondays. You get your downtown Manio Market every Saturday from 9 to 1. The Tri Villages Market in Rodanthe at Camp Hatteras every Wednesday morning from 9 until 1 as well. A couple of little noteworthy things going on this Friday, the 16th of August, at Bass Nights Lone Cedar, you can hear Ty Fleming. Ty Fleming, the man who created Chris Stapleton. He was Chris Stapleton before Chris Stapleton was Chris Stapleton. It's Ty Fleming. He's going to be kicking things off, I want to say, around 7 o'clock Friday evening, this Friday evening, August 16th, at Bass Nights Lone Cedar on the Manio Nags Head Causeway. It's Virginia Dare Night at the Lost Colony Outdoor Drama this coming Saturday, so they don't do the play on Sundays. So they're celebrating her birthday on Saturday, August 17th. It'll be her 437th birthday. So again, like I said, it's, although her birthday's on the 13th, or excuse me, the 18th, no performances on Sunday. So get your tickets now for that. Celebrate Virginia Dare's birthday. Phil Watson's going to be at Buffalo City Distillery on Sunday, August 18th. That'll be a good time. Shipwrecks and rescues with the Chickamacomico Life Saving Station in Rodanthe is going to be happening Monday, August 19th from 2 until 3 o'clock. It's very cool storytelling about the wrecks and rescues of the Graveyard of the Atlantic, and sometimes they'll do demonstrations and show you how they used to have to do things back in the day to rescue ships in distress. It's, it's really neat. You really ought to think about going and checking that out at the Chicka, Chickamacomico Life Saving Station in Rodanthe 
Monday, August 19th from 2 to 3. Friday, August 23rd, my buddies Tim and Woody are going to be playing at Bass Night's Lone Cedar starting at 6 o'clock in the bar and a dance night with DJ Styles at the Outer Banks Bruins Station in KDH is going to be happening uh, Saturday, August 24th, starting at 1030. So that's dance night with DJ Styles at the Outer Banks Bruins Station. Last but not least, well, actually, I got one more thing after this. Kind Cocktails, my buddy Holden McCohen that has Kind Cocktails. He's doing a barbecue showdown Sunday, August 25th at 3 o'clock in downtown Manio. You can go to kindcocktails.com for more information on that. And I believe the menu, if you go to the Kind Cocktails Facebook page, the menu for the barbecue is up. I was talking to his girlfriend or his fiance, I guess I should say, the other day, and she said she was going to put that up online for him. But there's like bacon burnt ends. What? Dude, I'm not much of a drinker. Y'all know this. I will go for the barbecue. I think that's what I might do. I think it's $80 a ticket. Don't quote me on that. I would go to kindcocktails.com for more details on all of that. But yeah, that's happening on Sunday, August 25th at 3 o'clock in downtown Manio. And then coming up in October, we're going to maybe go out there. We'll see what happens. The 15th annual Duck Jazz Festival is happening Saturday and Sunday, October 12th and the 13th. You can go to townofduck.com for more details on that. But that's the 15th annual Duck Jazz Festival. Saturday and Sunday, they've been doing this, yeah, 15 years. And it's always a good time out there. So I want to give them a little plug, something that y'all can go ahead and put on your calendar for the weekend of Saturday and Sunday, October 12th and 13th. It's uh, Columbus Day weekend, I believe. So that's the Duck Jazz Festival. Those days, Saturday and Sunday, October 12th and the 13th. And more information about that online at townofduck.com. All right, I'm going to wrap this thing up. Um, Let's see if I forgot anything. But first, uh, let's hear from our friends over at Outer Banks Boarding Company and the Crystal Dawn. From the moment you leave the dock, the Crystal Dawn out of Pirates Cove Marina in Manio will take you on a seafaring excursion you'll never forget. Whether it be a sunset cruise, birthday party, wedding, or a celebration of any kind, the 65-foot spacious Crystal Dawn would love to be the vessel that helps create a lifetime of memories. They are Coast Guard certified to carry up to 97 passengers. To book your private trip in paradise, go online to crystaldawnheadboat.com. Your view of heaven can be found on the deck of the Crystal Dawn. Experience the stoke of Outer Banks Boarding Company in Nags Head. Service, teamwork, originality, knowledge, and excitement. Owner Lynn Shell and his staff at OBBC focus on an authentic customer experience. With 45 plus years in the industry, they will take the time to guide you through the process of making sure you have what you need. Bodyboarding to skimboarding, surfing to skateboarding, OBBC has a wide selection of all. Come see for yourself. Outer Banks Boarding Company at milepost 10 and 3 quarters on the bypass in Nags Head and at obbconline.com. All right, Outer Banks Boarding Company over in Nags Head. It's a fantastic store, surfboards, skateboards, all your surf apparel, surfing needs, whatever you need in there. They got it, Outer Banks Boarding Company. All right, um, I don't think I forgot anything. I'm trying to really sit back and think if I did. Uh, I, I do want to give one more shout out, though. I want to shout out to uh, Wanchi's Assembly of God. They ended up moving their big back to school block party over to the whole ministry center on ER Daniels road. And it was a fantastic time. Lots of fun, lots of laughing, lots of materials being handed out to kids for this school year to get them started. Fantastic group over there. Kate Daniels, boo Daniels. Let's see Bonnie blue, Nicole Thompson. I'm trying to think of all the individual, uh, Cassie, Cassie Mount. She's actually one of the principals at one of our schools here. Uh, fantastic group that really helped put this thing on. And just can't say enough great things about him at Wanchi's Assembly of God. So uh, that was a really cool, the block party. I enjoyed being out there. I had a lot of fun. My son, Austin, had a great time. And it's just always, always awesome that they do things like that to give back to the community. So I wanted to shout out to Wanchi's Assembly of God uh, and how much they pour back into the communities as well around here. So that was really cool. Other than that, uh, I want to thank Mike, Mike for coming in and talking about the feel the love program and talk about the things that they do over at master heating and cooling and Kitty Hawk. Uh, love me some Mike, Mike, that dude is wonderful. Um, I met him, like I said, you know, Carrie and I, my wife, we got together. I met Mike, Mike and like that dude. I mean, you always wonder, um, how well you're going to be accepted by your in-laws or your potential in-laws or whatever the case may be. And Mike, Mike just embraced me, dude. And he's a fantastic human. He and his wife share, uh, my, my in-laws are wonderful people. I love them very much. And I want to thank him for coming in and uh, talking about the feel the love program that Linux is doing Linux air systems and they're giving away a system or 
work or whatever the case may be for somebody in need. So you go to feelthelove.com like we talked about and sign somebody up. Sign yourself up. No, no, no. Do the right thing here. Sign somebody up and tell why you believe they need to have a new system installed. All right. That's going to do things for us next week. I'm going to be hanging out. This one's going to be fun. This is going to be really fun. I'm going to be hanging out with Chef Wes Step at Red Sky Cafe in Duck. Yeah, Chef Wes Step at Red Sky Cafe in Duck. That's going to be a lot of fun. I'm going to be up there hanging out with him, talking to him, get his history. I've, I've interviewed Wes in the past, and he is a freaking hoot, man. That dude is a lot of fun. He's a first-class guy. Think the world of him. So I'm really looking forward to being at Red Sky next week. So you're really going to want to tune in for that and hear about the happenings at Red Sky up in Duck. It's going to be a lot of fun. Other than that, that's going to do it for me. We're going to wrap up episode number 77 of the Out of Banks This Week podcast. As always, all brought to you by Kelly's Automotive in Manio. If it has doors, it can be yours. Check them out online at kellysobxauto.com. Well, in the words of the late, great Freestyle Bob, later. This has been another radical edition of the Outer Banks This Week podcast. Be sure to like and subscribe, follow us on social media, and listen every Thursday for a new episode.